Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be doing one of those double reviews and I haven't done one of these in a little while. Um, you know, I reviewed a ton of perfumes near the start of the year and um, yeah, I'm getting back into these perfumes, I tell you what. So the ones that I've got here today are the Karma Sense. So I've got the perfume just in the 30 mil, which is the smaller size. It's also available in a 100 mil and I've got the solid perfume as well. So there we go. And to show you what the solid perfume looks like, it is sort of like this deep peach color, I would say. Yeah. So I am going to read just the scent ingredients uh, and we'll get straight into it. Uh, the perfume like this is in an alcohol and water base and the solar perfume is in an oil wax base just to let you know. So scent ingredients, Brazilian orange oil, lavender oil, pine oil, lemongrass oil, alimi oil, cassie absolute, and some other bits and pieces. So this fragrance, oh, and patchouli oil. How could I forget patchouli? This is the main part of karma. That was right at the start, I missed it. So this scent is, uh, for those of you who haven't been on my channel and haven't seen a review or are not sure what the karma scent family is, uh, the Karma Scent family is, in my opinion, the sort of quintessential 70s hippie style perfume, in my opinion. Uh, the patchouli is definitely quite strong in this. Uh, if you're someone who cannot stand patchouli, uh, I wouldn't recommend it uh, because it you definitely have to like a little bit of patchouli to some degree to like this. There is definitely sort of like a piney kind of smell in this, so quite earthy and almost like you're walking through a forest like a pine tree forest um, so if you don't like that sort of earthy smell in any capacity you won't like this if you like a little bit of an earthy smell I think you would like this um, and it has that very strong sweet wild orange smell and it is quite sweet so you really have to like a specific combination of scents to really enjoy this I feel um, it is the sort of thing that I really, really love smelling on others, but I never really liked it on myself. Uh, that sort of changed quite recently. I am definitely liking the Karma scent more on myself. The more I smell different things and I get sort of introduced to different things at Lush, I feel like my scent uh, knowledge and everything is sort of expanding and my scent tolerance is expanding, I guess. And now I really do enjoy this perfume. Uh, it's still not the kind of perfume that I would personally wear every day, but it is the kind of perfume that if someone really likes this Karma scent, they will wear it all day, every day, no matter what. You know, it is that kind of scent that people who love Karma really do enjoy it. So it is something that's definitely worth giving a try if you like the sound of those sort of scents and how that would sort of mix together. Uh, it is quite a unisex scent. I could see this on a man as well. Um, yeah, so it is sweet. So if you, if you are a male and you really don't like those sweet scents or any sort of sweetness in your perfumes, you're really not going to like it. But if you're someone who likes those sweeter smells and you're a male, you will love it. You'll really love it. So yeah. Now in terms of longevity, really, really good longevity on both of these. I got about three hours on the solar perfume, which uh, if you're not familiar with Lush's solar perfumes, they're usually about a two hour, maybe three hour thing. They usually don't go on for much longer than that. There are a very rare few that do go on longer than sort of four, the four hour mark. Um, so it's a pretty consistent sort of solar perfume. It is worth the price in my opinion. Um, and the spray perfume this really knocked it out of the park. I was smelling this still 10 hours later. I sort of um, finish my perfume reviews at about the 10 to 12 hour mark. It depends what sort of day I'm having uh, in terms of, you know, if I uh, need to have a shower more early. And I did in this case because I put it on at midday. So by 10 p.m. I was like, I really need to get in the shower and um, get to bed. So, yeah, it definitely could last more than 10 hours. Um, and also just to let you guys know when I do review perfumes and this is something I get quite a lot on this channel is I spray one spray on my wrist or I swirl my finger for about five seconds in the solar perfume to get quite a good amount 
and I just swipe it on my wrist as well. So I do not spray this on clothing. I get a lot of comments saying, oh, well, it lasted days on my clothing. Well, that's good for you. But um, I do a proper perfume test and I do it on my skin. You know, if, if I sprayed things on my clothing for review, I mean, it, you know, all my clothing would, would smell like perfume all the time. So um, I think it's far better to do a proper wear test. And that is usually where I wear my perfumes anyway. So, yeah, on my wrists. I don't tend to spray it anywhere else. I tend to just spray them on my wrists. So that works for me. So in terms of a rating, I definitely think that this one is a four and a half out of five. Uh, I would normally give a perfume like this a four rating, um, you know, but I think the longevity gives it that little bit of an extra, um, yeah, score, I think. And then the solid perfume, I, I would give this a four out of five. Yeah, it is a nice one. Uh, you do get your money's worth. You definitely get your money's worth with the spray perfume. Um, so if, if I had to pick one, because I do get this question as well, like, oh, what would you recommend? Um, which one? Um, I would go with the perfume, the spray perfume, if you were really, really keen on this scent or you've had the Karma soap before and you know what that smells like. Definitely skip the solid perfume, just go to the spray perfume. If you're a little bit unsure, always go the solid perfume first uh, because they're quite cheap. They're under $20. So if, if it doesn't work out, it's not a big deal. You can pass it on to someone else. Um, and you haven't really spent a ton of money on it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support I get on this channel. Hopefully this was helpful for you and yeah, stay tuned for more Lush reviews and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.